Eric C. in France and Jamie Patrickoff join me now. They're here with a film called Blue Valentine. And Eric, you directed. Jamie, you produced. Why don't you uh, tell us about the film? Uh, Blue Valentine is a love story. It stars Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams about a couple that's... Uh, you know, trying to keep their marriage together, and as they do, they remember back to when they were younger and, and first falling in love, and it's just an authentic, honest portrait of a, of a relationship. Um, and Jamie, how did you get involved with this? Um, Derek and I had worked together before on a television project, and I read the script, fell in love with it, and, you know, wanted to work with Derek, and we kind of rolled up our sleeves about six years ago and started trying to make it, and six years later, we finally did. Yeah. What what took six years? Why did it, it take six? Twelve. Okay, it took twelve years. It took me six years then to find Jamie. Oh. Hey, I'm so glad I found you. <laughs> and uh, and then another six years for him to finally get it together so we can make the movie. I don't know what took you so long. You I'm told slow. Me was I was take, lazy. Like, I was lazy. You that's said what it was. It was going to take like we'd be in production in three months. Yeah. You know. That's what we thought. <laughs> so, so twelve years ago, you probably had. A, <laughs> <laughs> 12 years ago, you probably had a different cast in mind. How has that evolved? Yeah, I think 12 years ago, Ryan was on the Mickey Mouse Club and Michelle was auditioning for Dawson's Creek, you know, so, um, you know, I'm just thankful. You know, that 12 years, I felt like I was cursed all that time, honestly, uh, but I feel like it's such a blessing that we had to wait. You know, I met Michelle and Ryan, you know, I met her in 2003 and Ryan in 2005, and immediately when I met both of them, they, they, they each became the characters. They really collaborated on the script and on the, on the writing, and we worked on it. I consider Ryan and Michelle to be co-writers of this film, you know, and we spent so many years just uh, refining it and just kind of stripping the layers off of it and making it more honest and more raw and uh, yeah it's a blessing it's a blessing we had to wait so long because you know that when we started shooting it was just it was just the right time it was the right time for it you know and where did the idea for the film come from when I was a kid I had two nightmares one was nuclear war and the other was that my parents would get a divorce and when I was 20 they split up and uh, I was so confused and bewildered and I was looking to uh, other art to try to like make me feel you know not so lonely or not so alone and I couldn't really find the movie that spoke to me that that felt like uh, what I had experienced with my with my family and so I decided as an artist that was my responsibility was to delve into uh, you know my fears and uh, and try to pull something out that was you know cathartic and uh, that's that. That's what kept me going. I feel like it was the film I was born to make, you know, and that was what kept me stubbornly involved for 12 years, you know. Now, Jamie, you're local. You're a Hamptonite. How, how does it? How good does it feel to have Blue Valentine showing here at this festival? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, I grew up going to the Hampton Theater. Uh, I grew up, you know, paying sometimes, sneaking in a lot, and uh, you know, so the, just showing a film at the East Hampton Cinema is to me is you know really a great achievement. Um, you know, I named my 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 company after Hunting Lane, um, so you know I all, I love film festivals, but the Hamptons obviously has a, a, a sort of a unique sense of pride to be able to show the film here. And you have a you have a big filmmaking background, don't you? Yeah, this is my uh, about my fifth film, and I've done a couple of that have done pretty well with Half Nelson and Sugar. And uh, you know, I've just been lucky to work with great filmmakers, and lucky to find Derek and to work with him. So uh, you know, hopefully. Uh, this story is Local Boy Makes Good. Yeah, lo <laughs> Local it, boy. it sounds like the title of your next film. What's next for you? Uh, we're actually, we have a, a series we're developing for HBO, um, which I can't really say too much more about. Um, Can you give us a little hit? I know it doesn't have to do with the boardwalk in New Jersey, no. right? It'll, it's going to give a new meaning to the term uh, character development. And, uh, and we also have a film that we're going to shoot next summer called The Place Beyond the Pines which is uh, all about fathers and sons, and it also has guns and uh, motorcycles in it. A gun. It has two guns. Two guns, two guns, two guns. Two guns. Two guns yeah. do, do you think any of the shooting will be out here? We're going to shoot in upstate New York, yeah. Schenectady. Yeah, which is uh, exciting because Derek's wife is from Schenectady and my mother is from Schenectady, so. Yeah. Well, it's Blue Valentine, and is there a website? BlueValentineMovie.com. It's being released by the Weinstein Company in uh, on December 31st. And in time for the Oscar contenders. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. That's what right. they tell me. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, well, you thank guys. Thank you.